So there is a new infinite money making bug in Bloons DD6 which is possible through a very funny portable lake bug actually and instead of just talking about it let me show you guys what the deal is with it and how it works. And before I start I want to give a shout out to user Blue Cookie Studios. This is the first person that I saw it posted for the first time and let's get on with this thing because there are a lot of moving parts with it. So first off I went ahead and started the game and well in order to pull this off you're going to need a lot of portable lakes and you need to place them on top of each other so that's why we're getting a snowstorm ice actually in a second let me actually place the first one of these guys and so the idea with these portable lakes is that you can stack more of them on top of each other you need to freeze the uh, the water inside right in order for us to do that we are going to do it well the way that we freeze the water in general in bt6 and that is by buying a snowstorm ice and now you can do this you can place another portable lake inside of the first one so we're going to keep stacking these guys and this is kind of the premise of this whole thing so the idea behind the bug is actually really simple bt6 physics is kind of realistic sometimes and the more portable lakes you stack on top of each other like this then the higher your towers will be in relation to anything else on the map at a certain point when you go high enough aka when you place enough portable lakes on top of each other physics and all placement limitations will stop existing and you can do whatever you want so i think this is portable lake number five actually i'm gonna try and fit as many as possible into the range because the the more you know the higher you go you're actually going to exit out of the range of the snowstorm village and i think i started with 37 so we're at 30 and i'm I'm just gonna keep placing these guys and let's see how much we can hold on with you. We're probably gonna need to buy one more actually. So I think we're gonna reach the limit now. So we are at 11 place and we're gonna need a lot more than 11 by the way. So let's see where the limit is on this thing. Okay, so we seem to have reached the limit. So let me buy one more snowstorm ice. This kind of works in a weird way because you know that these portable lakes are higher than the ice, but then this ice is still and the aura is still gonna allow us to keep placing portable lakes on top but that's completely fine so we're at 22 left which means that we've placed 15 and we have a little bit more to go before we can actually do this thing okay so i have 14 left and i'm going to oh we're gonna need one more actually so i'm going to place two more i'm gonna stop at 25 portable lakes stacked on top of each other yeah this one is quite the investment guys but trust me it's it's really fun when you do it so now that we have 25 portable lakes here and i'm not sure if you can do it with less by the way but i'm just gonna do it with 25 because i know that it works and let me show you guys what happens so after you try to place towers on top of this thing like this now we can place uh, land towers by the way because we have the ice platforms right but watch what happens when i place a super monkey and then let's say i want to place another one i can't and i'm placing the towers on top of each other so that means that all the physics basically let me just place a couple of our towers as well all the physics and all of the limitations are well gone at this point because we've gone high enough so you guys might be wondering what the infinite money glitch thing is well you guys know how the fourth tier druids work the jungles bounty druids right well the way these guys work is like this the more uh, farms that you have inside of their radius the more money that they make per ability so now that we have no collision between these towers and so we can spam a bunch of druids like which we, we can just have a bunch of them on top of each other we can just keep placing them like this this thing goes for the farms as well so now that i bought i think i bought five druids and what we can do with the nineteen thousand dollars that we have is we can just spend all of that cash and i'm just i don't think you guys can see them but i'm just placing all these farms and i'm spending the money <laughs> so now what this means is that whenever these just use their ability they're gonna make a lot of money because oh my god that's a lot <laughs> Okay, that's a lot of farms. We're gonna need a farmer. Let me just buy like a farmer here on the side just so we collect all these guys. And so the first abilities are starting to come out, and we have we have a couple of them ready. So now watch how much money one of these guys makes. So I'm gonna use the ability. We're currently sitting at 3.8k, 3.9. Let's actually wait for 4k. Okay, we're at four, and that is two thousand nine hundred. That's almost three thousand dollars per ability you cannot do this legitimately in a normal game so now because we can place an infinite amount of towers and we can have an infinite amount of druids or infinite amount of farms at the same time this means that you can make well an infinite amount of money well it's not exactly infinite as you guys are going to see because i am going to try and push this a little bit now something else i want to mention is that this is not exactly well first off this is not doable obviously in chimps mode because you're gonna need powers and also if you guys were thinking about you know using this on like a boss event or something like that i just want to say that this is probably not the way to do it if you want to I, I guess this is fun but this is probably nothing else nothing more than fun uh, because well this is a significant investment so I you know I use 25 portable lakes and one of these guys costs I think 40 or 50 monkey money I think it's 40 actually so oh I bought the mailpad bank for some reason you only need zero 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 farms by the way so if one of portable lakes one of these portable lakes costs um 
for the monkey money and you need 25 of them so you're gonna need 900 dollars as an investment and 900 monkey money is just not i mean i guess it's worth for the fun but it's not worth doing in an actual game because if you need some extra cash you can just do a like one of these guys one of the cash jobs which is significantly cheaper i think it's like 200 dollars, and that's gonna jump start your economy so it's it's really not worth doing this in the first place but if you want to do it you know to have some fun then this is this is really fun there's no limitation no collision okay yeah the lag seems to be catching to us a little bit and look at this thing 16.7 thousand dollars per one single ability look at the cash go and we just started this thing i mean you know what i'm just gonna keep going we have two hundred thousand dollars so what this means is that we can now place 200 farms inside of this thing and as long as the lag doesn't destroy us i think that this is just gonna be crazy when one of these guys uses the ability so let me just place a bunch of them i'm spamming this thing and thankfully there's not that much lag so far okay so we are almost at a hundred thousand dollars which means that place over 100 farms in this exact spot and let me see how much money one ability makes the lag is kind of can you guys feel the lag i think you can a little bit okay let's try and use a one ability and see how much money we make that is thirty-five thousand dollars per ability nope this is not a mod guys this is actually possible in normal vanilla bt6 no mods needed you just hack up a bunch of a bunch of portable lakes you make a huge tower and then you just have things up in the sky and for some reason these things don't abide by <laughs> the physics laws i guess in bt6 i'm not exactly optimizing this run or anything like that so you know that you can make a lot more money if you actually try it legitimately okay i just placed like a million druids and a million farms and i don't even know what's happening we have a lot of money like 1.7 million i somehow i've even bought the spirit of the forest i don't even know where that guy is so that i can sell him okay i've been placing these druids and these farms for a while now and you guys can see that we are struggling the lag is starting to become it's not unbearable yet but it's it's lagging a lot this is you know when you have a bunch of towers clumped up in one place but i do want to use one ability and see how much money we're making so we're at 1.7 million let's actually wait for all these guys i'm gonna give them an energizer sub by the way so we can reduce their cooldowns a little bit and finally let's see how much money we're making per single build this is a mess in the inside guys this is a lot of towers so 61 abilities I'm gonna use all of them actually so let's start using them let's just see how much we're making per one fifty five thousand seven hundred dollars per single ability so if i just keep spamming these guys oh my god look at the cash go on the side three million four million this is insane five million we're gonna hit five yes we hit five million dollars and that was just one ability run so we're gonna do it again <laughs> In 20 seconds and as soon as these abilities come off cooldown this is gonna be my last ability run we are at nine million dollars i mean come on guys this is just insane how many was it? it was 62 abilities okay so finally i placed a bunch of farms as well how much are we making now Sixty-five thousand per single druid ability <laughs> that's insane so let me start off by just spamming this ability and we're at 10 million 11 easily going past 12 million can we even hit 30 million yes yes there we go and there we go that is the infinite money glitch a really really fun thing uh, obviously an investment and absolutely not doable in chinstone mode absolutely not doesn't even make sense to do it in a normal game but if you decide to do it it's really fun but that's gonna be it for this one hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you on the next one